The whole concept is absurd. You let people into this country about whom you know nothing. They can be wanted in their own country for murder, as we found out in the last two days, the news that we've heard about individuals wanted for murder and high crimes in their own country. They're coming here. We don't ask them anything. But think about the absurdity of it, Dana. We let them in and we say they're on parole. That's baloney. They're not on parole, because if you're on parole, your parole officer knows where you are every minute. So they don't know where they are. They're gone. So, of course, they can't get, give them an NTA notice to appear. That's why nobody's appearing. They don't get the notice, because nobody knows where they are in the first place. This is basically the destruction of civilization. It's the elimination of borders. It's the creation of a globalist landing spot where people are not happy to be here. They're demanding that they be here, mm -hmm. that they be accommodated with homes, mm -hmm. and they're going to look for your home to enter, and the laws in the United States and all 50 states, Dana, allow squatters to have rights. Mm -hmm. It's just a question of 30 days or more than 30 days of your intentionally intending to make this your permanent resident. Mm -hmm. Here's a bottom line. If these legislators in the states or Congress want to pass a law to give American citizens their right of ownership, they can eliminate all of this squatter nonsense because they're not tenants, they're trespassers. And more than that, they're burglars. We should track that with the, like, and figure out which state From legislatures state state. are doing that. Jesse, when we see this footage that the New York Post put up of the stampede uh, at the border today, and you have Texas National Guard trying to deal with this, you know, we are uh, in a visual medium. Um, we know that people are going to see this not just on their uh, televisions, but also on their phones. It's going to be everywhere. And the Biden administration can use, continues to say everything's fine or that Congress just needs to get, give them more money and everything will be OK. Joe Biden can spend $10 million on ads this weekend. Mm -hmm. And then you can watch that video yeah. and that money just blows itself up. What you're seeing is no one knows how to say stop and notice why do they stop? Oh, the, wait, that was a wall that stopped them mm -hmm. because we were told walls don't work. They snip through the barbed wire and then they meet a wall and they stop, which is weird because we were told walls are racist and are ineffective. We were told we weren't even allowed to say invasion. A year ago, if you had said invasion, you would have been slandered as a racist. Mm -hmm. Now Texas has declared it and these aren't people who are asking to come in. These are people violently trespassing into the country. This is an invasion, and an Obama judge just allowed these people to have weapons. Right. So they're invading the border. They're invading our homes. And this guy, this influencer, this, I guess you'd call him a migrant welfare king, he had another video where he said, come over, break into the country, and have babies. Because you won't believe what they give you when you have babies. If you have a baby, they give you checks every month. So come in here. You don't have to work. We were told they're here to work. <laughs> and now they're violently invading the country and then ripping off the welfare state. Everything we were told about this border was wrong. We were lied to about it. And men need to stand up and just say, stop. Or perhaps get it together, which I discuss in my new oh book my right word. here. If you had had a strong leader <laughs> well in the done. White House or a strong leader anywhere to say, stop, no, you're not crossing. This isn't how we run things. That would happen. But we have a soft man in the White House who just lets everything.